One, two, three, testing. One, two, three, testing. <laughs> This is The Ordinary Fisherman. We're out on Fish Lake near Duluth, Minnesota today and we're chasing panfish and getting into some nice crappies. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notifications so that you'll know when we're on our next adventure. Sit tight and get ready to enjoy some great crappie action. The Ordinary Fisherman starts now. It's a cold September morning, but we're gonna go out fishing anyway. It's only September 8th, and we had frost last night. Look at the windshield of my vehicle. I'm gonna have to fire it up, warm it up before I go. So today we're continuing our tournament fishing. We're gonna hit one of my favorite local lakes that has a lot of panfish in it, and I am sure I will catch a bunch. It's size that we're after, so hopefully we'll get into some 12 inch crappies and potentially nine inch bluegills. I'm uh, not holding my breath in the bluegills, but uh, the crappies certainly are a possibility. We literally went from 80 degree days to 55 degree days. That'll be our high today. So we're definitely on a cool down pattern and I haven't really been out yet since this cold front has come through. So I don't know exactly where the fish are gonna be. They're gonna be somewhere and they'll be biting, but we might need to spend a little time this morning to find them. So. Uh, I'll start on deep weed edges and then just kind of go from there. Um, they might be shallow, they might be deeper, we'll see. So before we go do that, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, please hit the notifications, that helps you know we're out on our next adventure. And all three of those are really helpful for growth in the channel and to also encourage me in what I've been doing. If you really enjoy the videos that I've been putting out, please, uh, please do all three of those, that would be really helpful. Let's go to Fish Lake near Duluth, Minnesota and see where those panfish are and put them in the boat. I've been working hard all morning. And I caught a crappie early on the spot that I thought might be a good producer and it never panned out. And here I finally got my next crappie. I don't know if we're gonna make an episode or not, but we're gonna try. Finally get another crappie on the board and it's not big, right? Nine, nine and a half inches. So if you can't tell in my voice, I'm just a little disappointed. <laughs> Got a bunch of little perch, so I've had some perch on the board for the tournament, but um, I'm not going for perch. I'm trying to get some of these crappies and uh, some bluegills. I haven't caught one bluegill yet. This lake is plum full of bluegills, and I've been at least three hours at it and not one bluegill. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a nine and three quarter we'll uh we'll keep it and i'll see if i can get enough crappies to bring home for a meal but keep plugging away it's all we can do you know oh that was definitely a bite definitely a bite what do we got Let's see if we can get them back I think he just hit the tail. There we go. My first bluegill? <laughs> it's my first bluegill of the day. I was just, I was thinking earlier that I don't think I've ever been skunked on bluegill in this lake. <laughs> and I felt like it was going to happen. It's not even be big enough to measure. <laughs> but I got one. I got one. There we go. I finally found a, a spot with a bunch of minnows. And where there's minnows this time of year, there tends to be crappies. So we finally got another good crappie. And this one's the biggest one so far. Ooh, he inhaled that. 
we inhaled that. So I have been using my searching lure today. Because I've been moving so much, my, uh, my bobber rig isn't that effective or efficient is probably better to say. So I switched to this eighth ounce jig with a, with a paddle tail. And you know, you can't cast it super far, but certainly far enough in this calm area to get it to get where you want it to go and get into some crappies. I'm gonna guess ten and a half, ten and a half maybe. Ooh yeah. We'll call him eleven. That's a good one. It's my biggest crappie for the tournament so far. So basically this is another one of those outings where you just don't give up and you keep looking, um, pretty much all of the main lake is just green with algae. And it just feels like there's a lack of oxygen in the water and just kind of dead. There's a lot of fish in this lake, so they're somewhere. So I decided to come up one of the fingers of, of this lake to find clear water and I did. And I've just started pitching around in here and have managed to scrape together some, some panfish. So we'll keep plugging away and see if we can find some more. I'm pretty optimistic now though because that's the second crappie and got quite a few perch and a, and a bluegill as well. So we're we're finally on to something, I think. Persistence, persistence pays off. Ah, it's a northern again. Hopefully he's not gonna break my line. I have caught. All kinds of northerns today. <laughs> I've by no means been skunked. <laughs> Send me the crappies. That's another good one. Finally getting some decent crappies. Slow rolling the paddle jig. <laughs> Lots of fun. Slow rolling the paddle jig. It's another ten and a half incher. So I think we finally got on a good enough pattern to get some decent fish. What do we got here? Another crappie. Yes. Oh, this is a good one. I should be netting these fish. <laughs> ah, should be netting these fish. He was barely hooked. So I'm just slow rolling on top of weeds. It's about six to eight feet deep in here. And the weeds come up to about, they're about two to four feet up from the bottom. So I'm just casting it out there and let it just kind of skip across the top of the weeds and they're hiding in the weeds waiting for minnows to go by is what they're doing. And, um, you know, I was hoping to get some 12 inches today, but out in the main bay uh, is where I usually get those. And I guess I'll, I'll settle for some good 10 to 11 inches. Certainly is uh, redeeming the day, that's for sure. Oh, here's a good perch. Man, maybe he'll make the tape. <laughs> I haven't been, uh, I've been catching a lot of perch, but I haven't been showing them on film because they're little six, seven inches, but I've been registering them because why not, you know? There's a perch division too. I didn't plan to compete in the perch division, but when you keep catching them, you might as well. That might be a 10 incher. There's still a few crappies around. Probably another 10 incher. You know, we're gonna call it good for today. It's time to, to go home and eat dinner with the family. I put in a full day, which is a blessing when it can happen. And uh, the intent was to just try to uh, get a bunch of crappies and bluegills on the board for the tournament and uh, hopefully upsize and, and find 12 inch crappies. And unfortunately I didn't get them today, but I'm satisfied, you know, the, the average was 10 to 11 inches. Always puts a smile on my face. 
You know, the interesting thing today is I, I didn't really catch any on my bobber rig, which is my go-to. And today it was all the jig with the paddle tail and just casting around, which is really active way to fish and lots of fun as well. So I'm not complaining. It was good times. You know, if you want to fish this panfish tournament, you can go to the Fish Donkey app in the app store and upload it. It's all over North America and it goes to November 22nd. So there's plenty of time to, uh, to sign up now and have a couple months of good fishing in and have a lot of fun. So to all of you who have already entered, I hope you're having fun and trying to chase some of those uh, top pan fishermen who are already uh, flexing their muscle. You know, bluegills are my favorite and uh, that's what I hope to really compete in. And uh, Sam, you know who you are. He uh, found a good pot of fish that's 10 inch average, 10 plus inch average. So I think everyone's fighting for second in that division. So outside of the few Southern folks who maybe can find some, uh, some big white crappies or something like that, pretty much all of us this time of year got a good chance of getting in the top three. And, uh, and there's also weekly uh, prizes and drawings. We can social distance and have some fun uh, at the same time. It's a great community. Um, I'm glad to participate and I hope you get to jump in as well. You know, I appreciate you watching these, these episodes. It's an encouragement to me that someone finds these interesting. Please be sure to like the videos, subscribe to the channel, and hit the subscription button so you know when we're on our next adventure and help support the channel in that way. I greatly appreciate it. Hey, until next time, I'm Nathaniel, just the ordinary fisherman. Thanks for joining me out here in Fish Lake near Duluth, Minnesota. Be sure to go fishing yourself and when you do, take a kid with you and help them enjoy the great fishing resources you have at your fingertips. And remember, there's always a fish biting somewhere. All you gotta do is go out and find them. We'll catch you next time. God bless and tight lines.